can't have a burger without peanut butter and crushed nuts on it. I don't know. Would I find it as interesting if I was standing on the side of the street in Canada? It's reached the point now where I've lived in Taiwan almost as long as I've lived in Canada. When I go back to Canada to visit, when I go back to Canada to visit, just standing on the side of the street isn't, no, it, it, it isn't that interesting. It's just, for some strange reason, Taiwan is just, it's like every minute of every day is just more interesting um, when you're out alone. But when it comes to being with friends and being in social situations, then yeah, Canada would win. Whenever I visit Canada, one of my favorite things to do is just to be with other people. Like, I have a barbecue with my sister or, you know, people have a little house party or a gathering. Or just, get, you know, just any social situations, are, to me, are, are very special because it's very rare that I get together with a bunch of locals, Taiwanese locals, and just hang out. So rare, in fact, I don't think I've... Well, no, I, I, I've done it in 20 years. I've maybe done it 10 times. Uh, I get together with other foreigners. Like, uh, occasionally I have uh, some foreigners over to my house, and we have a Smash Bro party or whatnot. But uh, it's still different. It's different than in Canada. But, so yeah, so social situations, Canada wins. Uh, when being alone, Taiwan wins. Because this, this, this is just interesting. The traffic, the people, the, the signs. I'm at a little uh, street side van vendor. He's selling, he sells burgers. I was on my way home and I, I saw him. And I'm like, okay, I'll grab a burger. See? And it's neat because he, he moves around. Uh, sometimes he's here, sometimes he's not. There's another pl food place across there. It's just... And it's funny, like, if I normally take this street on the way home, if I, if I want to switch things up, all i got to do is just move one street over, and there'd be totally different things, or sometimes I just... I, I've done it before. I've taken the streets over there and the next street over there. You just switch it up a little bit, and everything becomes so much more interesting, because there's, there's always something. If it was Canada, you couldn't do that, because... Because... In, in Canada, every street would look the same. If this street was, like, suburban, then that street... Like, if this street was just houses, then so would... That street would just be houses, too, and the next street over. It would all just kind of look the same. But here, everything's just a bit more interesting. Anyways. Hope I conveyed whatever point it was I was trying to convey. My son just pointed out this is a really odd place for a pillar. It's, like, we're at a 7-Eleven. You got, like, the IOA... <laughs> <laughs> in the highway with this, just a pillar in the middle of it. You get a squeeze by on that side. One of the many reasons fat people aren't allowed in Taiwan. <laughs>